The U.S.-led war in Iraq may be over, but for coalition soldiers, aid workers, and peacekeepers, the threat of an old enemy remains, landmines. One soldier who should know is Brigadier General Christopher Hammerbeck. Thirteen years ago, he served as a British commander during the Gulf War against Iraq. It is well known that the Iraqis use extensive, make extensive use of mines. Anti-personnel landmines are a global problem, 100 million of them in more than 65 countries. It's an issue the late Princess Diana brought to the world's attention. Landmines kill or maim one human being every 22 minutes. That's nearly three people every hour. The victims are both civilians and soldiers. The New York Times reports that for American troops in Iraq and Afghanistan, there has been no reliable defense against exploding landmines. But, the Times says, one Asian manufacturer is selling what it calls the answer, a boot based on the technology behind bulletproof vests. This is a test of one boot by the Royal Military College of Science in the United Kingdom. F.K. Lee is the manufacturer. Oh, this is the UK standard issue combat boot after 30 gram landmine charge on the ball of the foot. This is the same charge on our boot. As you can see, there's a world of difference. Results show the boots can provide substantial protection. That has led NATIC, the U.S. Army testing agency, to conduct its own tests. And just before the war in Iraq began, as the New York Times reported, BFR received a flurry of orders, many from American troops in Kuwait and journalists traveling with them from CBS, NBC, ABC, and AFP. The combat boot is called BFR, which stands for Blast and Fragment Resistant. The boot was invented by a soldier in Singapore and is now made in that high-tech country using patented technology owned by F.K. Lee's company. Lee compares the boots to crash helmets for your feet. In effect, the foot is cushioned with more than 10 layers of the same material used in bulletproof vests. And underneath that layer of sandwiches are two special plates under the sole and the heel to diffuse the explosive blast. This is Fort Benning, Georgia, home to the U.S. Army's elite combat division, the Rangers, who are known for leading the way in combat. The Rangers are among the first American soldiers to be testing the blast and fragment resistant boots. Army Private First Class Steve McGinnis and some fellow Rangers tested the boots themselves. I noticed it was real soft and comfortable when I put it on. Um, there's no need to really break it in. Um, real soft, it's like walking on air. McGinnis did complain the boots were a bit heavy, but after jumping out of a C-130 plane during an airborne exercise, he says the weight paid off. There's an initial shock that hits your feet and usually runs up your leg. Um, I didn't feel that this time. It was pretty soft. But can soldiers be guaranteed the boot will prevent injury from a landmine? F.K. Lee says no. Just like no vest is 100% bulletproof, no boot is completely landmine proof. But it could mitigate damage caused by certain landmines and provide better protection than standard boots. It will offer quite a high degree of protection. And let's face it, 40, 50% protection is better than no protection. Some protection, soldiers say, can help minimize infection. The less dirt in the wound, the better it is for the medic or that safety personnel over there to help clean you up. And according to one combat developer for the U.S. Army, even if soldiers lose their limb, the more limb the soldier can preserve, the easier he can use an artificial limb later on. The boot is currently being bought and used by soldiers in more than 14 countries around the world. The boots also appeal because of the cost. At just under 200 US dollars retail, that's about the same price as other standard issue boots. This is a cross section and it shows you the component. F.K. Lee says his team is getting global demand for a product that helps counter a global problem. I firmly believe we're making a big difference in the life of people um, you know, whose life could be put in, in harm's way. <laughs> He says they are selling a better mousetrap for a lower cost and serving a humanitarian cause. Indeed, for every boot sold, BFR donates one U.S. dollar to charities that help victims of landmines. But he knows it's a race against time because every 22 minutes, there's a new victim. Farlin Chang, World BizWatch.